Hello, this is Yelena Ozegovich from the Kansas City, Kansas Community College Center for Teaching Excellence. And the purpose of this video is to briefly show you how to add alignments to the KCKCC institutional learning outcomes and if you're teaching a general education course, the KCKCC general education learning outcomes to one of your assignments in Blackboard. So first thing I want to show you is on our website, these are the KCKCC Institutional Learning Outcomes. There are six of them, Communication Learning Outcome, Computation and Financial Literacy, Critical Reasoning, Technology and Information Literacy, Community and Civic Responsibility, and then the Personal and Interpersonal Skills Learning Outcomes. So those are the Institutional Learning Outcomes. And then for those of you teaching Gen Ed, these are the General Education Learning Outcomes. And you can see these are divided out into topics or in the areas of which the courses um, fall within the general education core curriculum. So the basic skills for communication, that would be the Comp 1, Comp 2, Public Speaking and Interpersonal um, course, Mathematics courses, Humanities courses, the Sciences, and then the Social and Behavioral Sciences. So now I'm going to go into Blackboard and I'm going to get into a class and this is actually a, a previous class that I had in the past and I'm going to show you how to add those alignments to an existing assignment and for the purposes of this video I'm going to show you the communication learning outcome but really the process is the same for any learning institutional learning outcome that you want to align to an assignment. So for communication learning outcome what we'd like you to do is to select an assignment and it can either be a, a written assignment, a writing assignment, or an oral communication assignment. And the best practice is for you to select an assignment that occurs later in the semester. So something that um, you're assigning later on. And it really, for the writing assignment, it really could be anything that is a writing assignment in your course, hopefully that you already have created, you're not creating anything new but it could be a two or three paragraph writing assignment. It could be a five paragraph essay. It could be a longer two to three page paper. That's really, it could be a science lab report. Um, something that, again, your students are probably already doing and we're really only asking you to add the institutional learning outcome to that assignment. And if it's a gen ed assignment, a gen ed course, then the general education learning outcome. So for this class, this is an intro um, psych 101 class, so introductory psychology class, and the assignment that I have in mind, and it's one that I've done for several semesters, is in the social psychology chapter, so that occurs later in the semester. And it's a two-paragraph writing assignment over the film Crash. So you can see here's my digital Dropbox within Blackboard. This assignment must be submitted in Blackboard so that we have the artifact, and then that's where you're also going to add the alignment. You can see this assignment already has an alignment to it for the course level learning outcome. So as I said, this is a Psych 101 course. There, It already has a learning outcome associated with that, and I'm going to add to that. So just as you've done in, in the past, when you're adding alignments, you go to this kind of gray chevron, and this is one of the ways you can add alignments. You can always add add alignment within the gradebook as well, but I'm going to show you this way. You're going to click on the gray chevron. You're going to go down here to where it says add alignments. You're going to click on that. And then you'll see what comes up is right now these are the Psych 101 learning outcomes. You can see right here where it says goal set. These are the discipline goals. I want to add an institutional goal. So you can see how I checked that box that says institutional. I'm going to uncheck the discipline goals because there's just kind of too much going on there. And you can see what I get now is I have the general education learning outcomes first, and then below that are the institutional learning outcomes. So as I said, since this is a general education course, there are different options for the gen ed or the GLOs. So here's for if you're teaching a science class, a natural or physical science. If you're teaching a humanities class, you're going to select a Hume. If you're teaching a social and behavioral sciences course, that's this SBS. If you're teaching Comp 1 or Comp 2 or um, public speaking or the interpersonal, 
skills course, that's this basic skills in communication, or if you're teaching math, you're going to select that. So as I said, this is psychology, social and behavioral science. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. And the process is really the same for any of these institutional learning outcomes that you want to add. Um, but as I said, here's the communication learning outcome, computation or financial literacy, critical reasoning, technology and information literacy, community, community and civic responsibility, or personal and interpersonal skills. So for this assignment, it's a writing assignment, I'm going to add this communication learning outcome. I'm going to hit submit, and you can see that these pop up now with this writing assignment that I've selected, and that's really all that the instructor has to do. That's it. Just add the alignment to what assignment you think is appropriate for that institutional learning outcome, and you only have to add it to one assignment in your course. So just one communication inter, um, institutional learning outcome alignment to one assignment within the class. If you should have any questions, please feel free to contact me uh, or anyone in the Center for Teaching Excellence at KCKCC. Thank you.